Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, right now, I really look like, like a Muslim right now. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise God. I didn't, I woke up today and I didn't feel like wearing a wig. And I have cornrows on, so whew, I decided to just tie this. Do this on my hair. I have learned to be confident anywhere, anyhow, any in any circumstance. Like I've learned, and that that is the best gift. Well, that is one of the best gifts you can give yourself. The gift of confidence. I've seen people who until they do makeup, they are not confident. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna say this. Okay, very brief. I've seen people who, until they do makeup, they're not confident. I've seen people who, until they do their hair, they're not confident. I've seen people who, until they dress well, like, you know, an outstanding classy dressing, they're not confident. You have to be confident of yourself. It is not the makeup that makes you beautiful, but you, first of all, makes the makeup amazing. So your confidence doesn't come from makeup or dress. It can only be boosted by a dress. It can only be boosted by makeup. It can only be boosted by, what did I mention again? By hair. But you must be confident anyhow and anytime first. Learn to be that confident. And you will be very happy with yourself. Trust me, honey. You will be very happy with yourself. Nobody's going to tell you anything. The Bible says, God says, come, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion. The first thing was the image of God. We were made in God's image. So no matter what happens, always have confidence about yourself. Always. That should be one of the best things that should happen to you or one of the best values you should build about yourself. Confidence has made people gain great connections. Made people gain good jobs great positions and that is what you should become a very confident person confidence is not money there are people who, who are confident only when they say i'm going to be, when i'm going to be rich i'm going to be confident you don't need that okay oh wow this is such a coincidence i want to talk about money i want to talk about money i want to talk about money you know so many people do not understand this particular theory about money. And people think that it's prayers that brings money. Oops, pastor. Yes. A lot of people think so. Now, the prophetic word says, don't be shocked when you start having money after watching this. That is what the prophetic says. word says. I said again, don't be shocked when you start having money after watching of this particular prophetic word people think that it is prayers that brings money like i'm just going to see it and i'm praying i'm not doing anything i'm not strategizing i'm not creative okay you're praying that god gives you the money but which or which in which area should the money come through okay you want the lot to bless you financially but what is the means you can manage the financial blessings. What is the means your financial life can increase? What is the means that can grow your financial life? Prayer is good. It will give you wisdom. When you pray, God will drop a word into your spirit. But you don't only pray and say, God, give me money. You pray and say, God, Give me money, drop a word, drop an idea in my spirit. Nobody becomes extraordinary rich by somebody just dashing them money or just blessing them with money. No, honey. Someone blesses them and they strategize on how they can use it so that they don't lose it. And that is why people who play the lotto is very good. Because you can be lucky, you pick out the lucky number, and then you win that money. 
But people who organize this particular gift, they're not afraid to give you the money. They are confident that you might still use all that same money back to play again. Because once you win, you're going to feel like it's simple and you might feel like you're always going to win. And out of that particular mindset, you can lose all what you had gathered. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you win, you must have a means you can increase that money. Not in playing a game. Nobody ever becomes riches by playing a game, honey. By continually playing a game. You can play a game in your favor and you win or you're lucky and you win. But if you keep using that same money to play the game, you're definitely going to lose that money still. What do you do if you want to have money? You must create ideas. You must become creative. You must sit and look at your society and say, I want to become a solution. What solution can you give? What gives money is not prayers. What gives money is solutions. I say it again. What gives money is not prayers. What gives money is solutions. People get money when they bring out solutions. You can literally walk on the street and pick money if you have a solution somebody's looking for. In a place of 10 people, if you, they might, you might beg them for money and they never give you. If you bring a solution that these 10 people need, they will find you. They will look for you and give you the money themselves. There are people who are looking for projects to finance. Sit quiet. I want to pray for you right now. I have been in that particular position where the Lord dropped several ideas into my mind. You know what the Lord to do? Then I used to be so into business. My status, the moment I put on a status on my WhatsApp, I have hundreds of people. You know why? Because I had inspira inspirational status all the time when I used to do business. And then unbelievers and believers will watch your status. But if it's church, they already know this is all about church and all that. So some people are going to watch it, even still unbelievers and believers to be inspired and all that. But why were they really attracted to my status? I would post business ideas. Sometimes when I have an idea, I start creating it. When I created, other people picked that they will pick the idea and they start doing it. So by the time they are getting into the market, I've already swept more than half of it and I'm gone. And then I'm looking forward to creating another idea. I will not sleep. I will stay at night. Like I will stay long at night thinking, what can I bring to the market? What can I create? Creativity will take you to where you are. I pray for you. If you're, you are believing right now, let me pray with you. Receive a creativity. Receive an idea that will take you to your next level. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say, I received that idea for my next level. Type it on the comment section. Connect yourself. Make that confession. Say, I received that idea for my next level. Say it again, somebody. Say, I received that idea for my next level. In the mighty name of Jesus, please share this video to a lot of people and also pray for me too. The devil is never happy with such a free word. Mostly motivational speakers will tell you this. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. This is what people pay to hear. All right, I'm going to tell you more of this if the Lord permits me to. This is the knowledge people pay to hear. People will pay to hear. Share it to as many people as possible. It will cost you nothing to share. And let people watch it. God bless your family. I love you so much. And by the special grace of God, I will see you in our next prophetic word and prayer session. How we share the grace. May the Lord bless you. Keep you cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you. And may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing. Nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much. I do. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom. <laughs>